Hi guys, my name is Naomi. If you're new here, I make videos on my journey to becoming an entrepreneur. So today, um, I went to Ikea. Well, actually yesterday I went to Ikea. I'm gonna show you guys that. Um, when I was making my jars, I realized that my table was not um, leveled. So I was like, I need to go get another table in order for me to, if I'm gonna start m m mass producing these jars, I need a table that's leveled. So um, I went to Ikea yesterday actually, and I got the table and I got a bunch of other things that I'm gonna show you guys. Um, so let's get right into this video. getting some things for my studio and because I need to organize a little bit more stuff I don't know what's happening here okay I don't know what that guy was doing anyways yeah it's getting dark because I'm in the let me see if I can show you guys I'm in the garage area so i'm just trying to find a parking um yeah so i'm gonna get some things i'll, sh I'll try to show you guys what i get i'm like a weirdo so i don't really like people watching me i feel like people are watching me when i'm like trying to videotape something oopsie i'm not even in my my view um I feel like people are watching me when I'm trying to videotape something, so, yeah. Am I even looking at the camera? I don't even know. This is so new to me. I do not vlog, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing, like, little things that I'm doing to start my business. So, all right, let's go, because I got to go. I got a lot of stuff to do today. <laughs> So after all of my hard work of trying to find a cart, I realized I was supposed to eat first and then go shopping. So here I am. I this is why I love IKEA because it has a little cafeteria and you can either eat while you shop or eat before you shop or eat after you shop. It's just amazing. <laughs> What I love about Ikea is that they have these tabletops that you can customize with different legs. Um, so I was just trying to figure out which one am I going to eat. And um, I saw this desk and I was like, oh my God, this would be so perfect in the little corner because I don't have that much space. When I decide to 
take pictures of my candles, I was like, this would be perfect. I like to put my candles on. Right? Look at this one. Like, these are for plants, but this would be perfect to put my candles on and take pictures of. Now to the register I go. Hopefully there's not a crazy line. But you know how Ikea is. All right, so I just left Ikea. I didn't even get to videotape me going to the, um, the register because it was just like a lot of retarded people. Um, like just doing stupid things. Like this lady, I'm literally trying to get by her and she is like wouldn't move like she moved to the side and it was like still i i didn't have enough space and i'm like excuse me and then she moves a little bit like she was like acting like like she owned the place like i'm like i'm trying to be nice i'm like you know what let me just compose myself and just relax and you know maybe she will come to her senses and move she finally did because her husband was like you don't see her standing there <laughs> i was glad he said that because i was about to say you don't see me standing here Ugh. all right let me get out of ikea okay this is like the cave of ikea and i'm gonna go whoa i thought that car was coming behind me i'm gonna go to target I had a budget for what I was gonna spend here and I went under the budget thank God because I was and that's why it took me so long whenever it takes me a long time to purchase something it's because I am taking my time to figure out like do I really need this like I was looking at things that I could use but do I need it like do you need it I'm trying to ask myself these questions do you really need it so I know this is like a weird angle I'm sorry guys but um I need to get one of those like mounting things that go like on top of the car on top of the um dashboard so that you can see me better but you know this is new to me so I'm still trying to figure out like what I like what I don't like but anyways yeah so I'm gonna go to Target hopefully I only get the thing that I need because Target is like when it's busy like this Ikea usually I'm like walking around slowly like oh my god look that's so cute but it was so busy and I just wanted to get out there and I really don't like being around a lot of people so I was like I gotta go I gotta get out of here and um let me just get what I need and go but um once I got to like you know the warehouse area where you pick up the big items I was like oh god I need to I need to like figure out what do I want to get so um I'm gonna go to Target I don't know if I'm gonna film there probably not because I just really need to hurry up and go because I got to get back to the city I'm in New Jersey right now and I don't want to hit crazy traffic um and I also really want to make sure I can find a parking because I got a lot of things I got to do so I will probably maybe I'll show something at Target I don't know but I'll probably see you guys
it is so crazy how tired I was in this video and you can tell because I sped this video up and I still look like I'm moving in slow motion. I'm like, girl, why are you so tired? <laughs> and I didn't want to speed it up anymore because I didn't want to look like no crazy cartoon character. I'm like, okay, this is good enough, but dang, y'all should have seen before I, before I sped this up, I was looking like, I was looking like I was dragging my feet. <laughs> Y'all, I was presently surprised when I saw that I did not have to put together a, a whole entire Lego set with these Ikea pieces because y'all know how Ikea is and they are infamous for uh, making you sweat looking at the instructions like, how am I going to put this together? So I was very happy about this because I was like, all right, there's only one, two, three, it's not A, B, C, D, and put the C with the screw here and, and, and insert this D part. I'm like, thank God, because I, I could not do that today. <laughs> I was too tired. So for people that don't really know me, um, I love doing things like this. I actually love making furniture. I actually have a bench that I made in my apartment, but it's hard to make furniture, you know, in the apartment. I was making it out of my mom's house outside. And you know, with the, with the sawdust and everything, you can't really do that inside. But um, when I get to do things like this, it makes me happy because I love screwing things into things. <laughs> I'm just a creative person. I really like doing stuff like this that, you know, has to do with my hands, you know? 
and I just can't wait to get back to that I'll probably show you guys at some point so y'all about to see me almost break my wax melter <laughs> guys I was in shock I was like oh my god I broke the glass I thought I broke the glass thank god see this is how tired I was I was just so exhausted I couldn't even deal with this I'm really happy how it turned out. Um, I just need something to go here. Yeah, I need something to go here. Um, I kind of want something. I don't know. I don't know what I want to be honest. Cause I was gonna put my, I was gonna put my um, printer there, but I don't think that that's gonna work. Um, because it's not a big enough space and I need for my printer my printer has like a back thing to it that needs to sit there so I might not be able to put my printer there um, but I'm for now I'm just gonna put my shipping boxes back in this corner and then I'm gonna see if I can find some kind of a table that's small enough to fit in this area um, it's probably not gonna be the same size because this is one of those tables that have those long legs and um, yeah it's pretty high i think it's like 36 inches high or something like that so and i also wanted this big space because i want to be able to like put a bunch of things here um like a storage maybe like a short oh my hands are ashy maybe like a short um like a not a short like um something that's high but it's not too bulky out because i need to be able to put my feet under so yeah so i really like how it came out um i'm just gonna go on ikea and see if i can find a table because i really don't feel like going back to ikea just for a table because then i might buy some more stuff that i don't need so yeah let's see what i can find i'm gonna figure out how to fix this section um probably the next video i gotta go and buy some more things I, I want these two shelves to be for for jars and um well actually one two three i want those to be for jars so i kind of want to do like the um, the ones that are drying will be at the top and then i will do the the ones that are i put the wax in will be in the second one and then when i'm done with the product they will go in the third one and that will be for shipping um so I mean, it's still, depending on how much I plan on selling, um, I plan on actually selling, I probably will need more shelving, but for now, we'll just use this as the main base of, of what I need for the, um, for the product. And then, um, I just need some more stuff here. I kind of just threw all this stuff here when I took everything off the table, but I'm going to organize this right now. And then I'm just going to figure out what else I need to purchase to fix this. Because I do need this shelf for... I need this shelf for shipping. Um, no, I mean, yeah, for shipping. I need my, my printer to be able to go here. And my shipping printer. And then the paper stuff. And that's what I need this one shelf to be. So I'm going to have to reorganize everything. I'll probably do that in my next video. Show you guys how it comes out. Because I'm going to order what I need today, probably. So, stay tuned for that. So I got this. I actually got this bin, actually, for my um, concrete that I'm going to put in. But it has all the stuff that I had got from Ikea. So, I'm going to put that to the side. Grab what's inside here. So I got more of these. Can you see? I need to put this like this angle. Okay. I'm just gonna put what I got. All right, so I got more of these. Then I got these. So I got these for my pigment. To put my pigments in so they're not in that bag collecting so much and then I got these 
So I'm actually going to, I already had two of these, so I just bought two more. And I'm going to put these at the bottom shelf to show you guys. So I opened this already, one of these, because I was like, oh my god, these are so cute, can't wait to open them. I did not realize. Let's see, let me show you guys. This little thing was inside. I honestly, when I saw it, I saw like this little part and I just thought that was just like the sealer, like to seal the jar. That's what I thought. I did not look at the kit picture which shows yogurt and some fruit and then you could put your like nuts inside here, which is kind of cute, right? But <laughs> not, not what I was looking for. So whatever, I already bought them. I'm not even gonna try to take them back. It's still cute. I can use them um i could just take this out and put and just put it like this so that's what i'm gonna do just take them out and put them like this so i'm gonna use that okay so i purchased this which um is another one of these down here so i'm just gonna put that there so that box there has wax and i'm just gonna put so the bottom part will just be my wax section and then um like i said i bought this for my concrete which i thought was such a cute color too so um yeah my concrete will go in here i'm gonna actually go to home depot and purchase the big amounts um of concrete cement and uh, put it in here so yeah we're gonna do that so i'm pretty much done with this so I'm going to put um, these actually here. Let me move one out. I'm going to put them here. There's something stuck back there. I thought I could get the light on the wall because this light is supposed to go on the ceiling. put it like that i was gonna actually have the the black ones in the middle but i put this down here because then i switched this area here so yeah i gotta organize this whole entire section but i'm gonna also put the wax in here we'll see how that comes Right, guys so thank you guys for sticking along and i'm going to show you guys the organization of the shelf in the next video i'm probably going to have to go to ikea or um maybe i'll have to no i'm not gonna go to ikea i'll probably order what i need because i don't feel like going to ikea hopefully it'll come by then otherwise um, you guys will see me going back to Ikea to get what I need for the shelf. And I have a bunch of other things that I need to get. And then we'll get right back into candle making. I'm actually going to be making my first candle in my new vessel that I'm making. And I am so excited because this is going to be like basically the beginning even though i started this journey last year this is basically going to be the beginning because now i'm starting over with a new vessel so we'll see how it goes but i'm excited about it so i will see you guys in the next video bye